Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Church at Home. Today, I want to talk to you guys more about what it looks like to live separate from the world. Last week, we learned how Noah was able to live a life of obedience to God, even when others were living in disobedience to God. Your memory verse was 1 Peter 2.9, and it says this, But God chose you to be his people. You are royal priests. You are a holy nation. You are God's special treasure. So boys and girls, your memory verse this week calls you a royal priest. What do you think, boys and girls, it means to be royal? Well, a royal is someone who's related to a king. That's right. Do you know that you are related to a king? You are sons and daughters of God. Now, boys and girls, in the United States, we have a president as our leader. But do you know, boys and girls, that in other countries, their leaders are kings and queens? In England, they have a leader named Queen Elizabeth, and she has a very big family. And do you know, boys and girls, as people that represent the queen, as royals, they have some pretty strict rules that they have to follow. And they follow these very strict rules that the queen puts in place because they represent the queen. Today, I wanna to share with you some of those strict and sometimes silly rules that royals in England have to follow. Boys and girls, this is Prince William and his family. The little boy in the picture's name is Prince George. Do you know that Prince George is never allowed to wear pants? That's right, even in the cold weather, Prince George must always wear shorts. Do you know that royals have special rules about holding a teacup? Royals must never loop their fingers through the handle of the teacup. Royals have special rules about waving. They must perform the royal wave, which means pivoting your hand back and forth. Do you know when it's Princess Charlotte's birthday, she cannot open her birthday gifts until the queen sees them first? Queen Elizabeth can even choose to send Princess Charlotte's gifts back to the person who sent them. Do you know that royals don't have last names? That means that Prince George and Prince Charlotte only have first names. So boys and girls, why do you think real royals have to follow these silly rules? Well, that's because they represent their king. And just like real royals represent their king, boys and girls, we represent our king. Our lives represent God. And so the way we behave, the way we treat others, the way we think, it matters because it represents who God is. So boys and girls, what are the special things that we do to represent our king, to represent God? If you have your Bible with you, I want you to open it up to Colossians 3, 12 through 14. If you don't have your Bible with you, I want you to pause this video and go get it because I want you to see God's word as we hear God's word. We're reading Colossians 3, verses 12 through 14. Follow along as I read to you aloud. You are God's chosen people. You are holy and dearly loved. So put on tender mercy and kindness as if they were your clothes. Don't be proud. Be gentle and patient. Put up with one another. Forgive one another if you are holding something against someone. Forgive just as the Lord forgave you. And over all these good things, put on love. Love holds them all together perfectly as they were one. So boys and girls, as royals, this is what we want to do as we represent our king in our everyday life. Our king wants us to be merciful. That means forgiving of others, even when they don't deserve forgiveness. He wants us to be kind. He doesn't want us to be proud. He wants us to be gentle and patient. He wants us to put up with, an, with one another. 
That means when people annoy you or people frustrate you, we're going to put up with them. We're going to forgive other people if we're holding things, something against someone. And over all these good things, we're going to put on love. And boys and girls, why do we do this? Because we're royals and we represent our king. Thank you guys for joining me this week. I hope you guys have a great rest of the day and I hope to see you next week for Church at Home.